What's going on gamers? Today we are going to go over how to change mob spawn limits in Minecraft. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. Mob spawn limits can limit the amount of mobs in your world, which can either be a good thing or something that hinders your players. Whether players want to create mob farms or they're just looking to come across more of them while scavenging the world, there are built-in settings on our panel to easily change the mob spawn limits for all mob categories. Along with that, there are also mods that you can download to control the mobs, so whether you're running a modded or a plugin based server, we have a way to help. There is a universal option across all plugin game versions to change mob spawn limits, and there are also plugins like Mobs Manager available to give you a way to manage them. Installing this and others are easily done through our panel, simplifying the entire process, but today we're going to go over the universal method that you can do without downloading anything. Head towards your Apex server panel and then click config files near the top left, and on the next page, find and select the bucket config option to reveal its contents. Within the file, find the spawn limit section and increase or decrease the values. And after you're done, you can press save at the top and continue to restart the server in the following prompt. Servers with paper 1.19 and above will also have additional settings in the paper world defaults YML file accessible through the same config directory in your FTP file access. Spigot servers are also going to have more options in the spigot YML file found in the main config of the FTP. Sometimes modded servers can become hectic and crazy with all of the unique additions to the game. Whether it's bulked up zombies or other custom entities, these can become overwhelming thanks to their spawn rates. Making sure your server doesn't lag or encounter problems is important, and limiting spawning is a way to combat this. Doing this depends on the type of server that you host, with Forge and Fabric being the most popular. Customizing mob spawn settings on Forge involves mods, since there aren't any universal options in the default files. One of these useful mods is Bad Mobs on CurseForge, allowing you to add passive or hostile entities in its file to disable them from spawning. This is easily done with our panel editor, simplifying the entire process. As for installing the mod, you can follow our guide linked down below if you need a refresher, but keep in mind that this is a server-only mod and you won't need to install it on the client. There are of course other options for mods to use, so feel free to search to find what might work best for you. As for fabric servers, these are very similar to Forge variants, with the only difference being the mods themselves in some cases. That being said, there is a modification called Limit Mob Spawns that is for both Forge and Fabric. This mod works by adding custom rules to the world, such as preventing specific spawn reasons for mobs, or setting a finite amount of them in a chunk. These act similarly to game rules in Minecraft, meaning there are a ton of potential settings to implement. Installing this mod is the same as before, but this one will have to be installed on each player's client as well. In cases where too many mobs are spawning, make sure you've configured and saved the file settings or the mod and plugin options. For example, lowering the monster values in the bucket YML file will resolve issues where a lot of hostile mobs are spawning. The exact solution depends on the type of server and add-on you choose, so make sure to look through each mod or plugin page to see exactly what needs to be done. If you have no mob spawning, then you might need to increase your values instead of decreasing them. If you've done this, then it might also be that your game is set to peaceful, which will stop any mobs from spawning. Changing this requires the forward slash difficulty mode command, which should be set to easy or higher. Setting mob spawn limits is a great way to customize your server, whether you want to limit them to a small amount to make the game a bit easier, or you want to overload your world for a real challenge. Keep in mind that the more you allow in, the more your server is at risk of lag, but now that you know how to change them, you have more control in running your server the way you want to. That's all for this one, and as always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, 
then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.